Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the Day Machinery Vlog where we're coming to you live for the biggest event of the year, the National Plowing Championships. So there's quite a bit of setup that goes into the Plowing Championships. We sent up three trucks this morning, fully loaded, and we have another three trucks going up tomorrow. Uh, we're one week out and as you can see there's an awful lot of activity going on primarily because uh, the weather uh, weather last week was absolutely shocking and you have to take the window opportunity to get the sand set up fully which will allow the ground to recover a little bit but yeah there's a lot of excitement a lot of build-up a lot of buzz happening already and i honestly just can't wait uh, i'm delighted we got a really good location this year and we think that this is our biggest stand ever we're going to have roughly 16 machines on display and what's interesting about that is that when we compare it to three years ago the range of equipment that we can now offer has increased so much there is a new range of compact loaders there's a range of small articulated loaders there's a compaction range there's a rotary telehandle lineup and of course we know that compact tractors are going to be here next year along with a whole range of zero turn mowers so yeah anime we're going to have to get more space so we're here the Adair machinery stand um, there has been an awful lot of dry weather which has been very unlike the plowing championships uh, so most of the machines here are covered in dust uh, but I still think the stand looks great uh, we have a full range of bobcat loaders an S530 which is one of our most popular machines uh, an S76 going into the larger category and one of the ones I'm most excited about a T76 it's the first time that we've actually had this machine at the plowing championships it'll be a lot of people's first time actually seeing this machine in the flesh and of course we have one of the multi sweeps up in front of it and boy oh boy this machine is an animal so the machine that we're most looking forward to showcasing is the one over my shoulder this is an e27 not to be confused with the e27z this is the conventional tail swing model it's mounted a foot further back and it has that natural swing of a counterweight um, but that's not the reason why uh, we're excited to showcase it it's for this uh, and on the end of this machine is an encon now if you're not familiar Encon is a Swedish brand and if you go over to that side of the world you'll be amazed to see how many excavators are actually fitted with this from 30 ton and below and what it gives you is an incredible range of maneuverability with your machine which you would never have had before this model is the EC204 there's a couple of reasons as to why we went with the EC204 but most importantly it's probably because of this this is the gripper on the back and it's integrated into the machine and into the hitch on the smaller model the gripper isn't available and I personally think if you're going to go down the route of a tilt rotator that this is a super option to have on the end of it. Now with all these different features and functionalities there's a couple of changes inside in the cab too and Encon have fitted their own joysticks on it which ergonomically are a lot better suited than the Bobcat joysticks for this type of setup. You've got roller switches on the top, you've got roller switches on the back and that allows you to control all the functionality on it. I'm not the best operator of it so I'm not be the right person to show it to you um, but this will take your machine to a whole other level. That and the tinted windows too. And of course we have the biggest machine on the stand, the all new Bobcat E88, the very first one in the country. Can't tell you how lucky we are to get this machine. It's obviously the first one in the country. It landed in just as we were loading the other trucks to bring everything else up here. Uh, so we feel very fortunate actually to have it. Now, come this way, because I really, really want to show you this. Obviously, since the last time the Plowing Championships was on, 2019, Bobkit have released so many new products, including a range of rollers. Now, this is actually the biggest one in the current range. It's an ATR26, which has a 1.2 meter drum on it. And standing side by side is a new Bobcat L85. Now, we've done a full walk around video on this. You can actually see it on our YouTube page where we do a full day on the farm, a full day's testing. And I really, really like this loader. Um, other than that, we have the smaller brother to this machine, uh, located in our hospitality suite, uh, aka Marquee, uh, inside here. And we will serve probably 300, maybe 400 cups of tea and a cup of coffee over the couple of days. So there's absolutely no way that we could look after an entire event like this without some help. Uh, thankfully, we've drafted him some recruits with Zenic. Uh, and of course, Arno, who you remember from one of our previous videos, have come to their very, very first plowing championship. And we we're already putting them to good work. For me personally, I grew up going to plowing. I think we've been going for at least 30 years. And when I was very small, 
It used to be an opportunity to go up with my father uh, and then throughout school, I used to represent a day off, which was always great. Um, and then from the last couple of years, again, it's represented a chance to meet new people, uh, meet new customers, meet existing customers. There'll be people who'll attend the Plowing Championships this year who have bought machines from us who I haven't got a chance to meet. And the very first time I'll be medium will be at this event. So this year, we've really tried to have the best display possible. There was one stage at about maybe three months ago where we had a conversation with Bobcat. I only thought we were going to have maybe four to five machines available to showcase. Thankfully, that didn't come to pass and everything has landed in. So it's been a long, hard, arduous task, but we finally managed it and we've got David Cody to agree to be on camera for about two minutes. Uh, so David, Dad, uh, thank you. I know this isn't your most uh, relaxed forte to be in, but another plowing championship. How many roughly is this? This will be my 40th plowing championship now. Um, is it actually your 40th? Uh, 40, 40th. Yeah. yeah, does that Come make you feel dry? I've missed a few, obviously, with COVID and a couple of cancelled foot and mouth and maybe storms or whatever. Before starting our own business, I was working in Cork and the company that I was with, they represented New Holland, they represented the Ford. So they always went to the large exhibitions. At that time, then, there was an exhibition Dublin Show, and Dublin Show was huge, Balls Bridge. You know where Dublin Horse Show is? Yeah. And it's hard to believe there now that that and the Simmons Scores Avenue, it was full of machinery and people would go up. But the plowing was always the highlight. Yeah. So when we started off ourselves, we had learned from our previous employers how to do it okay. and what was needed. So okay. we started going and supporting the plowing. When I, I remember years ago, William, with the plowing and the, say, Dublin Show and Cork Show, etc. The farmers, etc., did wait until the show to buy machines mm -hmm. and they'd come up and they'd have a checkbook and they'd have a ritual there. But sales would actually be made and on the, um, day. On the day and money would change hands. So, day one of ploughing done. Um, is it too early to talk about next year yet? Oh, it's, we'll, we'll, we'll start planning that now, say November, December. Okay. And uh, we'll try and coordinate them with new machines coming on board and make new plans. Yeah. Because there are any machines coming on board from Bobcat and you're going to hear about this very, very shortly, maybe in the next few weeks. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on your notifications for the YouTube channel. We have a lot more content uh, coming to you very shortly. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, calling to the stand. And let us know what you think in the comments and we will talk to you very soon. Hello everyone, William from Adair Machinery here. And today we have gone on the road County Galway, where we're going to test out the all-new range of Bobcat Agricultural Telehandlers here on Keebney's Farm. <laughs> <laughs> 